good news for me my family is coming for the weekend uh, so my mom Kira and my brother are coming uh, tomorrow morning early morning like in I don't know like 10 hours I suppose yeah 10 uh, in 10 hours they will be here uh, so they are taking a bus from their town to St. Petersburg and they uh, then I will um, will take a taxi for them and they will come to my place so okay um, I have some errands to do I have a little to clean up a little bit uh, and I have to buy food as you know my place is not very big it's only 31 and a half square meters so there will be four of us and um, frankly speaking I don't have many sleeping places <laughs> in my place and it's tiny it's a tiny place but you know uh, in Russia many families too many families live like this in a one bedroom apartment uh, four of them like mother father and two children for example I have uh, several um, examples from my experience so I think just we have to think a little bit out of the box so I bought this wonderful air mattress and now I'm checking if it's a losing air actually but it seems not too much losing I hope it will not <laughs> lose too much air because you know it's a bed for my brother I hope it will not lose air and uh, here uh, is the bed for Kira she will be sleeping here unfortunately this bed doesn't fo unfold so um, I have nothing to do with that and uh, the sleeping place uh, for me and my mom is here it's my bed it's a two two um, two people bed so I think we will be okay and now let's go buy some food for four of us Oh my god, it will be a heavy bag <laughs> and quite a lot of money. So I will check prices for uh, the ordinary uh, food that um, ordinary Russian and Belarusian families buy. So let's go. So I'm going to my local grocery store, which is not very far away from me. It's like maybe, I don't know, like five or seven minutes on foot, but still with a heavy bag it will be not very pleasant to go back home so okay as you can see I'm not wearing any makeup today because I got a little bit lazy um, maybe I'm not <laughs> a true Russian girl who wear um, full makeup to a grocery store <laughs> Yes, maybe. <laughs> we were planning this trip long before, uh, even before the pandemic, right before the pandemic. So my mom and Kira wanted to come to my place, to that apartment where I was uh, renting with my friend. Uh, but the pandemic happened and uh, we postponed our plans. So a month ago, I just reminded my mom, uh, hey, can you come to my place, to St. Petersburg? So they are coming. So my family eats um, sausages. So I think I will take this one. Uh, so I see the discount I take the discount <laughs> so okay here okay and I think I also will need a sausage like this They, they like such kind of sausage too. 
so my brother don't like this kind of coffee like real coffee he likes instant coffee so okay just a small uh, small jar something like that wow well, I think this is a very good price discount very nice I think I will take this one so basically I bought the food that a normal ordinary Russian family eats for breakfast and I think it will be enough for uh, about two uh, breakfasts or maybe three breakfasts. So I bought uh, some things for Kira like uh, soft chocolate cheese, uh, some yogurts, uh, also I bought uh, some stuff for my breakfast like cottage cheese and sour cream and bread of course for my brother to eat with this salami my family also eats cookies uh, i don't eat them now <laughs> you know why uh, so uh, i bought them uh, two packs of cookies so uh, i think uh, i will make a special video for you about uh, our prices in our food stores so it will be a special video but now let's go home so here is what i bought so as you can see we have some um cookies uh this is the soft cheese this is the chocolate cheese this is cheese for cheesecake with pear uh, this is um, mm, cottage cheese, uh, sour cream, bread, uh, salami, I don't know, what do you call it, yogurts, um, sausages, I told you, uh, coffee for my brother, milk, eggs, and this is, uh, this, uh, I call it like fish sausage, I like it so much, uh, it's made of uh, minced fish. So, for all this, I spent 1,977 rubles, which is, uh, according to the present day exchange rate, is $33. So, it's 7.22 a.m. and my family is somewhere uh, close to St. Petersburg on their way. Uh, so, uh, I want to make them uh, breakfast and I will be making an Israeli recipe which is called shakshuka but it's not a real shakshuka <laughs> it's my shakshuka uh, amended recipe so if you are from Israel and you're watching this video <laughs> don't get offended by my um, shakshuka it's it's my shakshuka <laughs> so here I got two tomatoes and pepper and now I will um, just Heat the pan, put everything here, reduce the fire, I'll do this, and now I have two garlic cloves and I will smash it with my knife, like this, so they're smashed. Okay, like this. Uh, so now we will have to simmer all this under the lid for about uh, five minutes uh, until uh, tomato gets soft. And also I'll put some salt some pepper and some spices just a little bit really so now let's check our vegetables oh this is what I need this is really what I need now I will just smash them with my this I don't know what do you call it and we are ready to go with eggs
and also my amendment is uh, sausage so I add some sausages here So adding sausage to all this. I hope it will work. I'm doing it for the first time. So I, I cooked uh, myself shakshuka many times but I add sausage for the first time. I really hope this will work. Uh, normally I don't eat sausage but my family is coming, so they eat that. And we also put our lid. And I know, I don't know, like maybe for three minutes more. Let's check our shakshuka. Oh, that will be delicious. I guarantee that. So, shakshuka is ready. Breakfast is ready and they are not here yet. So they are somewhere in St. Petersburg already Which is very very good because in 50 minutes. I will have to <laughs> like sit up for my work. Oh My god, uh, they should uh, they must have uh, already come to my place, but they are only just now arriving um, okay, I'm waiting. Yeah, so we have already ate my shakshuka. Kira is very happy. The main purpose was to show Kira St. Petersburg. Uh, Kira is my niece. I think you must know her. Uh, so we did that. Uh, we had a boat ride in the center of St. Petersburg and not along the channels and rivers of St. Petersburg and uh, we went to Oceanarium, which you may call aquarium, where they show fish, different kinds of fish. And we uh, visited zoo. Uh, we also visited um, Aquapark, I don't know how you call that, Aqua Park, where you can swim and uh, ride the uh, slides, different slides like this. <laughs> so we did that. I, I took a decision not to film that because my family doesn't really like it, uh, especially Dima, my brother, he doesn't really like it and Kira is getting a little bit too, you know, um, overwhelmed when she's f filmed, so so I'm sorry. And uh, in the morning on Saturday I was uh, checking my comments under my latest video and you know I noticed a very strange comment which was from a man or woman, I think it's a man, um, who calls himself I am a Russian so his comment was something like oh you know America also has the law for foreign agents and they use that uh, as a um, like repression method uh, so uh, you know I gave the link to your video to um, the correct office which in Russia Russian means police or FSB so he um, also hoped that they will not give me a very big sentence and recommended me to show up there myself and gave the address I don't know if that's true, if he really sent that uh, link for my video or just wanted to scare me. And you know, I really don't understand how anybody could get offended or think that my video was uh, a threat to Russia. Um, really, I don't really don't understand, you know. Uh, and uh, I also got some comments saying like, oh, Xenia, thank you for speaking the truth. Thank you for being like very brave. You know, my dear friends, I don't know what do you mean by you 
speaking the truth and uh, calling me brave I didn't you know in my last video I didn't reveal any secret information I took all the information from open resources in Russia uh, those resources are not blocked they, those resources uh, are not prohibited they are state resources uh, like uh, state journals or like official informational data and I just compared that to historical facts that I learned uh, at school or at uh, my history lessons that's it and um, moreover I took all those historical facts also from um, open resources I highlighted open resources in Russian. What I did, uh, I just translate that, those uh, resources, that information for you because you don't know Russian. But if you know Russian, you can also access that information easily and read it openly. I didn't reveal any secret information or the information that I shouldn't have told because that is the open information that's it i didn't do anything brave or it's just analysis it's just simple analysis in my last video i don't accuse anybody of anything or anything of anything i don't call for any actions i don't even um, give my opinion on that properly you know i just uh, specify that i'm a little bit paranoid and um, I'm not <laughs> so please don't call me a brave girl a hero or a prophet of uh, truth or something like that I'm not that you know um, of course I contacted the uh, organization which handles the cases like this like uh, the um, oppression for those people who do something on the internet I contacted them I uh, got them a message I called uh, an organization uh, so I'm waiting uh, for the answer there is a tradition in our family when I go to my mom's place and when my mom goes to uh, my place uh, we get um, little gifts uh, to each other uh, like we call it гостинцы in Russian and it, it's not just things for example I just will show what my mom and my brother got me when they <laughs> were here at my place they got me this little thing which I ate already uh, so it is um, strawberry with sugar it's not a jam it's just raw strawberry mixed with a little bit of sugar and that is very tasty and here is jam it's um, cherry jam which is from my mom's vegetable garden and this strawberry is also from my mom's vegetable go uh, garden and my brother got me these two jars of raw honey just look at it it's raw and it's fresh it's this year honey really and I already um, tasting it and it's just this I like it so again <laughs> my mom got me vegetables from her garden uh, those cucumbers and this kind of cucumbers too and they are really really good uh, so here is aubergines so he she got me uh, cabbage from her vegetable garden and carrots and uh, beetroot this all is from her vegetable garden and this cheese so uh, we have uh, this kind of cheese here from this company it's a Belarusian company which is called Brest Litovsk but we don't have this kind of cheese here it's like Karalevsky uh, sir and it's like king cheese and also my mom got me 
onions and garlic from her vegetable garden and I have to to dry it like this and also we wanted to make uh, a video with my mom cooking stuff for winter you know and uh, we realized that it is not possible uh, because we had only four days together and with the, the very vast program for my niece it got really impossible we were always out especially uh, on sat Saturday and Sunday and on Friday and Monday I was working I didn't uh, take a day off from my work so we um, we uh, didn't uh, manage to do that. I'm sorry, but we will do it later. Maybe when I will go to my mom's place uh, to Belarus. So, my dear friends, that is all for today. So, my dear friends, thank you for being with me. Thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for sharing my videos with your relatives, friends and uh, colleagues. I don't know. Uh, so, thank you for everything that you do on my channel and see you in the next video. Bye!